see there's more you know, this stuff tethering useless to me next thing is a Trebuk uh, launcher which is which is okay but it also has a bug where the wallpaper is not scrollable so I had to um, disable that didn't matter you can choose the number of home screens default screen search bar and so on page indicator so it's not it's not that bad but uh what else Let's see yeah I also to conserve the battery and animations I didn't join the widgets and the apps therefore um, it wouldn't have to load the widgets animation when I open the apps so so like this whereas if they were all loaded then it would have to load this as well while I'm using it so yeah Let's see let me go back and yeah um these these don't even work like honestly i don't I don't really know um much about the ROM. I don't know where they're going with it right now, but these don't work. I'm pretty sure there's more um there's more options on the original Engine mod nine, but as you can see here, it looks pretty uh pretty half assed you know like doesn't seem to have that much whereas in Engine mod seven. I could change a lot with ADWEX. And the next is, let's see, device. These things, these all work pretty well. One thing that I really like about this phone is that it has increments. So for me, before it only had 90, 80, 70, but now it has 1% increments. But the downside to using this mod is that it doesn't have the icon here so I have to install another app to show the percent increments which is a downfall of course so that that was bad and I liked how back then in Sound Mod 7 I had I could use a bar indicator for the amount of battery I had back then but now I don't have it so now I'm just using the number again these things are pretty standard right Vibrant touch. I turn off all those things too, because the battery life is pretty, pretty bad. Like, let's see. Back before, I only got around 10 to 12 hours, so I couldn't. I had to keep the phone charged before I went to sleep because I used it during school. And display, so on. Font size, brightness. And let's see. Storage. See, this is this is pretty useful. I think the only reason why I updated to this is because of the new, how how it felt new. Other than that, it really did not have much much difference. Apps. See, these are all my apps. I'm also using a better keyboard. Eight. I don't even know where it is anymore. I can't find it. So. I just use the APK and let's see accounts and sync alright security this is another problem I have with the phone I tried using a widget locker instead of the original screen lock mostly because for the slide it doesn't let me choose the other side so here as you can see there's a camera one, but the problem is the camera doesn't work, so I really don't want this here. But I can't, I can't do anything about it. So that was one of my other pet peeve. So I was using Widget Locker for a while, but because of the battery life, I had to stop using that as well. Yeah, in general, um, the language and input was better than my past ROM, Soundgen 7, which had problems with the user dictionary, but I'm pretty sure this is only for, for my phone. Because, yeah, because OG, OG Droid actually had a certified CM7 ROM, whereas this, this didn't have it. It still had a lot of problems with the instability and everything. The dock, nope, useless, can't, yeah. Day and time accessibility. Let's see. I'm also using Light Flow, which I use for my to indicate like texts or like missed calls.